Ahoy hoy, and welcome to this look at playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, newly released. I'm immediately falling through the void, but what's this? My telephone. I'm losing it. What will I do without my sweet, sweet telephone? I need it. But what's that? There's some bright sparkling lights all around. Maybe our saviour is here. From the past, it comes. It's the N64 controller. That's right. Today we're going to be playing Pokemon Legends Arceus with the new Nintendo Switch N64 controller that came out a few months ago. I'm not using it for the N64 online app, I, I've only just subscribed to the expansion pass. There might be videos for that coming soon, but no. We're in Pokemon Legends Arceus. There's the title screen. Fantastic. Now, let's get into the game. Ugh, I'm being told to wake up immediately. Do I have to wake up? I was having such a wonderful dream about... N64 controllers. I guess I'm alive, but what sort of world is it without my N64 controller? So, today we're going to be seeing how if we can actually play this game, because I'm not even sure if we do. It depends what the controls are. As always, if the X and Y buttons are essential, we're going to be a bit stuck. Right, we're brand new into the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus, so let's uh, keep going. We're talking to the professor here, and here's our starter Pokemon. And they've all run off like little buggers. Look at the look on my face back there. Blast and bother, as the professor says. Yes, right. Well, we're going to have to run after him and get those bloody Pokemon back. At least now I can test out the movement controls. So I can use the left stick to move. The C buttons are working as the camera, acting as the right stick. The up on the D-pad is for the menu. You can't see that before behind controller cam, but that's what it is. I can move around. B is to crouch. Okay, so we can enter crouch mode. We can move around. We can open the menu. This is good. This is better than Diamond and Pearl remakes where we couldn't even open the menu. And what's that glowing thing on the ground? Ooh, there's a glowing object. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, it's an N64 controller. What sort of phone does this resemble? It looks nothing like it. It has changed shape. What has Arceus done? He's made my phone so much better by making it into an N64 controller. So let's just run over here anyway and see what if there's anything over here at all. I doubt it. One thing I've realized I can't do is actually sprint because that requires clicking the left stick in, which you can't do on the N64 controller. It didn't have a click inable stick. I mean, the control stick wasn't really designed for that. Right. We're going to very quickly speed through talking to the professor here who's going to introduce us to the starters. I mean, there's Rowlet. Rowlet's all right. I like Rowlet. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's meh, but this is it. This is it's all about this. My boy, look. Look in controller cam. I have Oshawott right here. I've already got him, but of course, he's probably our sort of front runner for choice of starter. So, learning to throw Pokeballs here. It uses the ZR button, which, thankfully we're using the new N64 controller. There's that ZR button there I was just pointing at, uh, which means that we can throw Pokeballs, which is good, because obviously that's going to be a big part of this game, and I can do it with this new N64 controller. I can do that on the original, I can on this one which is fantastic, and BAM! Just chucks it at Oshawott's head there. We've got Oshawott. Now let's just quickly catch Rowlet as well. Which has gone nicely into the Pokeball as well. And then finally, we're gonna be capturing Cyndaquil. Boom! Headshot right on the uh, Cyndaquil there. We got him, and... What? He broke out? Come on. Right, well, Cyndaquil is just out of the running for picking of starter just for that alone. It's going to be between Rowler and Oshawa. Now get in the bloody ball. Much better. There we go. I'm just going to crouch a little bit to intimidate and make sure he sticks in that ball. Jumping forward a bit, I'm now in Jubilife Village, which I'm free to explore and check out. There's a nice bridge here, and we're going over towards that galaxy building there. Look at that watermill. It's all very nice, this. I do like the period of it. But we've got to talk to this guy first, who has... What should we say? A very questionable moustache, and he's very angry with me. He does not like me at all. Well, he's calling me suspicious. He's got the suspicious moustache. I'm surprised that's allowed, aren't I, Sad? Gosh, he's very angry, right? Well, we're going to have nothing to deal with him. Let's get out of here. So, skipping forward a little bit, we're now actually at the point where we get to choose our starters. We've got Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawa. As I said before, it's not going to be Cyndaquil. But uh, it could be Rowlet and it could be Oshawott. I do like them a lot. Um, 
what what are your guys favorite out of these three are you gonna pick who's your favorite let me know in the comments below there we go engagement cinderquill rowler or oshawa who who would you pick or who to have you picked i'm struggling between oshawa and rowler but i think you could tell from what i've said earlier it's gonna be my boy oshawa here and he's gonna be my first partner yes indeedy let me know if you picked oshawa he's great look at him it's just fantastic. True partner worthy of be playing alongside me in the N64 controller. I've also picked him for a secondary purpose, because I will also, after this video, be investigating whether there's tree felling in this game. And Oshawa has the scout chop on his chest, which is a great tool for tree felling, until at least I catch a whole bunch of Bidoofs. And look, I've got his Pokeball. I've got him down here as well. Look at controller cam. I My version of it came with a cool little model version of the Pokeball. Right, so on the way out into the open world, I was intercepted by, by this jerk who decided to challenge me to a battle with his Togepi. Interesting choice for the uh, sort of first trainer battle of the game, but um, I'm going to send out Oshawa here, and uh, we're going to probably murder this Togepi quite easily. I mean, this is Oshawa after all. I do like how the battles are sort of not instant anymore. Look, we're just in the world fighting with Oshawa. I mean, this is great. This is what Pokemon sort of really needed to be. And it's years ago when I first saw Pokemon Stadium, I was like, well, surely the next Pokemon game will come out on the N64. It will have an open world and the battles will be like this. And who would have thought it would only take 22, 23 years from that point for them to actually do it. But they did it. And I am quite happy that they did it. By the way, Oshawa obviously very easily won. Right. Now we're out in the open world. We're in the field. I'm just gonna check through my item so I can definitely check through, I can change my, use my items and check through uh, my Pokemon's summary and stuff. I can change their moves and their nickname if I need to and that's just great. I can all do all that through the up on the D-pad button, which is great. Don't need the X button or the Y button for that. Fantastic. Still haven't quite figured out what the X and Y button are for yet, but I'm sure it won't be too bad, I hope. And whoa, look at the look on my face. We're here. We're finally in the open world. Although I'm still probably very much within the tutorial. But we're learning. We're in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? And oh my god, it's it's the tree murderer himself, Bidoof. Ah, oh, you gotta you gotta love this guy. I can't wait to capture one. And off he goes, scurrying away, just like he did in New Pokemon Snap. You should check those videos out, by the way. I made those a while ago, but I'll put a link on the top here on a card. You should check out the uh, tree felling investigation in New Pokemon Snap. Similar to what I'll be doing here after this set, after this video. See if we could fell some trees. So now I'm just gonna try and go for this long shot here and go for go for goal. Oh yes, fantastic. Well, have we got it? Yes, we've got ourselves a bit deep. Easy, on to the next part of the tutorial. I think we've got this game mastered already. I think we're gonna be fine with the N64 controller. Can't wait to play the whole game with this thing. Uh, it's gonna be great. Next up is a Starly. So I think what she's gonna tell me is, if I'm guessing right, yes, we're gonna to have to crouch in the grass because they're probably gonna fly away if they see you. That's it, yes, so if they notice, us, which is fine. That's on the B button as we've seen earlier. So. It's time to try and catch this Starly. To do that, we need to enter Stealth Mode. Now then, let's be very quiet. Line up our shot. And go for that Trank Dart. Got him! And that's a Starly caught. Nicely done from using the powers of Stealth and... Right, with uh, Bidoof and Starly caught, we've only got the Shinx to go, so we're pretty much through this tutorial. So let's... Head on down here and see what she has to tell me about next. And let's hopefully get the Shinx and be done with this and say this game is pretty much good to go. Oh, she's got one more thing to tell me. I wonder what this could be. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. X. X? I don't have an X button. No. Please don't tell me that's the only way you can send out your Pokemon. Please don't tell me that's... Oh, maybe that's only needed to, like, hit this tree. She's, she, she's telling me to hit this tree with Oak and Pokeballs. I don't think I'll be able to do that, but let's see if that's if this is a necessary feature or not. Uh, and now, now I'm worried because I can aim my Pokeball at this tree just fine, but there's nothing in it, and you can't just knock the berries down by throwing balls at it. Well, balls indeed. Right, let's let's just skip the tree, which because we didn't have to do it for the tutorial, which is fine. And there's Shinx. 
Oh, isn't it, isn't it really cute? What? Aggressive? What do you mean? Nah, not at all. It looks so cute. We're going to be best friends. I bet it doesn't even attack me. Right, so. It says that they're going to attack us, but that's fine. Yeah, 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 that's fine. We know how to lock on to Pokemon. We've got the Z trigger underneath, which is ZL. Um, so it's, you know, like Ocarina of Time and, oh no, it's highlighted there, the X button. Oh no. This, this might be it because we have to catch this Shinx and you need to be able to start Pokemon battles by throwing your Pokemon at him. And I'm just throwing balls, missing. I've hit him on the head. It does nothing. The, the balls, they do nothing. I, I, there's nothing I can do here. This sucks. Well, I think this is the end of our time playing Pokemon Legends Arceus with the N64 controller. I can lock on to him, I can throw balls, but I can go no further, unfortunately. Um, if you've liked this video, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, it's a shame that we've not been able to go further, but stay tuned for some more tree felling action, maybe, uh, using Legends Arceus. So until next time, goodbye!